bitter end for Meg. Markle's supporter does complete 180 on Duchess after apology, she lied to all. Meghan Markle was very bad to have misled the court, a supporter of the royal has claimed. Meghan Markle, 40, has apologized for misleading the court over her recollection of the information given by her aides to the authors of an unauthorized biography about her and her husband. The Duchess of Sussex sued the publisher of the Mail on Sunday, Associated Newspapers Limited, ANL, over five articles that reproduced parts of a personal and private letter sent to her father Thomas Markle, 77, in August 2018. Discussing the latest update, columnist Aisha Hazarika has claimed it was a really bad thing. Speaking to Jeremy Vine on 5, Ms. Hazarika said, I have often defended Meghan Markle but I do think this is pretty bad to have not disclosed this quite important piece of information to the court. I think that's a really bad thing to have done. She has apologized, let's see how this affects the case. The High Court ruled earlier this year that ANL's publication of Meghan's letter to her father was unlawful, entering summary judgment for Meghan and avoiding the need for a trial. But ANL is challenging that ruling at the Court of Appeal, arguing the case should go to a trial on Meghan's claims including breach of privacy and copyright. The court heard this week that Meghan and Harry's former communications secretary Jason Knauf provided information to the authors of Finding Freedom by Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durand. In a witness statement, Mr. Knauf said the book was discussed on a routine basis, which was discussed directly with the Duchess multiple times in person and over email. Mr. Knauf also discussed planning a meeting with the authors to provide background information and said Meghan had given him several briefing points to share with them, including information on how she had very minimal contact with her half-siblings during her childhood. Emails released as part of Mr. Knauf's statement showed he had emailed Harry to discuss the book and to say he would meet the authors. According to the former aide, the Duke replied, I totally agree that we have to be able to say we didn't have anything to do with it. Equally, you giving the right context and background to them would help get some truths out there. In her witness statement, made public on Wednesday, Meghan apologized for misleading the court about whether Mr. Knauf provided information to Mr. Scobie or Ms. Durand. She said, I accept that Mr. Knauf did provide some information to the authors for the book and that he did so with my knowledge, for a meeting that he planned for with the authors in his capacity as communications secretary. The extent of the information he shared is unknown to me. When I approved the passage, I did not have the benefit of seeing these emails and I apologized to the court for the fact that I had not remembered these exchanges at the time. I had absolutely no wish or intention to mislead the defendant or the court. Duchess of Sussex issued an apology for misleading a British court about the extent of her cooperation with the authors of a book about her and Prince Harry, via NBC News. She also says she didn't remember the discussions when she gave evidence earlier in the case, and I apologize to the court for the fact that I had not remembered these exchanges at the time. I had absolutely no wish or intention to mislead the defendant or the court. In his witness statement, the former communications director said she asked me to review the text of the letter, saying obviously everything I have drafted is with the understanding that it could be leaked. He also claimed Meghan asked whether she should address her father in the letter as Daddy, adding that in the unfortunate event that it leaked, it would pull at the heartstrings. Event that it leaked.